welcome back to the second part of the video how to do the part region if you are watching this video before the first part I suggest you to check the first part it will be pop up in the top right corner in your screen if you already check it out that video well let's continue check it out this truck in Mac trucks uh, 2019 and above as you can see this is the instrument cluster for Mac to perform the power region we had to dig in into the menu and to do that we had to use the right hand side switch you need the one you see the one that has the engine brake and it has the building buttons to control the menu all these three buttons in here okay to move up and down you use this one to pre to show the menu from the right you use this one to show the menu from the left you use this one so this is the main screen you usually you're gonna see once you start the truck all right you can I believe you can decide what screen you wanna see every time you turn off the turn on the engine but I don't think so you always starts with this one so let's to do the part region okay we go down in the menu down uh, until you we see this menu that says EATS status all right and then with this the one from the right we press enter and you see you say the options right you can call these the options menu key all right so we're gonna request the part region or you can delay the region and you see it says it's gonna take it for 20 minutes you can delay it for 20 minutes you can add more even if you want to you can press this one as okay to accept it or if you don't want to delay the region you just press back this is the back key you see in here All right we go back we launch again the option menu and we request region and you say do you want to request a regeneration now and we press yes with this with the same key here okay you can call this key like okay and back all right or option menu exit all right so we say yes and you say you say region unavailable because right now as you can see the dash Ha, the region light is not on or even solid so you say temporary lockout see manual for that and obviously it's because the light is not on right now but okay this is how to do the region in uh, max and volvos they carry about the same style of dash so if you want to check it out what's what's the problem with your truck first you need to check it out the pop-up notices if you see like checking your lights on and the region the, the truck doesn't take the region maybe an issue with you know that's uh, with the ATS related all right like us go down and you see it say truck data in here we go to vehicle diagnostics or you can check ATA a, a e ATS status list Okay, and here you can see if something I believe is like red color on an X on it then we need to take care of that you see right now for example that one's yellow so that's the reason why we cannot perform the power region right now you see we go down and as far as you can see there is no another problem with the truck all right let's go back and if we can go if you, you want to dig in even more you go to vehicle and uh let's see vehicle diagnostics we choose view active faults and we go to after treatment control module if it's something related here to the after treatment we're gonna see it in here so right now there's no fault 
and sometimes even the engine ECU might have uh, something to do with the reason why your truck might not take region so you can begin in that menu too all right so now let's go back and those are the two uh, things you can check related to the after treatment device okay guys to perform part region on a 2018 and above Volvo trucks as you can see this is the instrument cluster for those new trucks and unlike Mac right Volvo has the uh, selection uh, buttons uh, built in into the steering wheel all right so this is the part we're gonna use to control the menu with this part in here with this uh, so, uh, selector in here that goes up and down and the first thing we're gonna check we're gonna, the first thing we're going to do is to going down you see as you can see it says with this uh, switching here we're going down down a couple times until we have regener e EATS status as you can see uh, this one is a slightly different than max but still you're gonna find it the same way you have to go up and down until you find it so once we here okay we press ok ok is built into this switching here like we press ok like this you see with this like this we just press it and you say do you want to request a region now and we're gonna say yes and the same like Mac trucks is gonna tell you temporary lockout and C manual obviously it's because the region light is not on right now but if your truck uh, does not uh, even if the light is on right and does not take the region Okay, we are going to dig in into the uh, uh, diagnostic menu, and to print it up, we're gonna press this one that has the uh, uh, button on the left. We're gonna press it, and you see is we have applications, and we have vehicle info, pop-up notices, truck data, and settings. So we are going to check the truck data. Once in truck data, we're gonna check it out. This one has vehicle diagnostics, but as you can see, unlike Mac, it doesn't have the EATS status. So we had to check in here in vehicle diagnostics, and we go to view active faults and the same with the after treatment control module or engine ECU okay on one of those two should be something that we can you know check it out to have an idea if the EATS has problems okay to check the EATS status all right we're going back with this key here going back until we get to the main menu or we can press home this is your home key all right and we're going back again to look for the ATS EATS and we find here and we're gonna press the option menu here you see it says displays display the status list and delay regeneration if you try to do do delay regeneration the same light max is gonna allow you to do it for 20 minutes okay so right now we don't want that so we're going back and we're gonna press again uh, up terms and we're gonna check it out the status list and you see now we bring the menu for the EATS status list and we can go down to see if something is yellow or red or red no usually it's yellow uh, you can see over there the temporary lockout is on right now 
so that means that's the reason why it doesn't take the region but if you can see engine it's green it means we are good to go and the one like for example system timeout is not available those win will not be highlighted it will have no color though so that's the way you can check it out you know go in the game and you know have uh, an idea if your truck if your tractor is having problems to perform the region properly Volvos and Mack trucks have the same decal so that way you can check it out what it means you know every sign related to the EATS all right so you have this one for example is the high exhaust system temperature and you have the DEF indicators and the EATS indicators all right so remember to read it carefully and that way you're gonna know what's going on with your truck exactly if you are going to start to drive a Kenworth truck okay and it's your first time driving uh, this vehicle as you can see you can navigate through the menu with this knob and the back button in here and you can turn it you know and you select okay pushing this button in here uh, you move for example you can see the truck info uh, fuel economy and other settings here also you can check the warning and faults uh, the only problem with Kenworth is like they don't give you exactly the code they just give you the fault say oh SCR fault and the remote or things like that but those, they don't give you a number so you can't do that much for it if you are stuck in a road and you want to find out what's going on with your truck so to do the part region on this Kenworth you have the inhibit switch in here okay this one comes with two settings all right you have the settings if you go up like right now it will disable the region okay it's gonna say region inhibit switch is active the active switch to allow region so it means it's gonna give you probably like 20 minutes more like Volvo's and max to drive until you get to you know to the shop you know to the nearest shop to get a repair all right this this doesn't mean you can drive whatever you want with this it's gonna give you just a little bit more time right but if you want to enable it again and you can see when you disable it it turns orange if you want to enable it again it will turn white okay right now it's enabled okay so if you want to do the part region remember the lights need to be flashing i believe it's on this part of the dash or this one not sure uh, and you hold the button down like this all right right now will not take the region because it's not requesting it okay so that's one of the easiest stroke with international to do part region usually if it doesn't take it holding it the button it means there is something wrong with your truck so you, they need to check it out with the diagnostic tool all right As you can see, this uh, Kenworth truck comes only with the switch to perform the region. Okay, you can see it goes down. But if you want to disable, you can't. I don't know if it is because it comes with Packard engine. All right, because this is a 2017 model. And also you can see there is no buttons in the steering wheel. So that's the reason why you see many many other buttons in here compared to the one uh, we're watching in in the other part of the video. But the procedure is the same to perform the region on the trucks. So it only has this switch like this. You just hold it down, and it should take the region. All right, guys. So 
right now we are at the end of this video we went through I think five trucks to how to perform the region and these are newer trucks I believe uh, I just show the Volvo because you know for older guys you know but the other ones are 2018 and above so that way you're gonna know you know how to do the region because uh, every time we have new drivers here on the company they say oh I don't know how to do the, the region on this truck so I hope you like this video guys uh, congratulations if you made it through the end of the video and remember there is more content to come to the channel subscribe and thanks for watching I will see you in my next video bye